What's up, people? It's Dr. Love, and I'm back with another Let's Play. Tonight, I'm playing Zape House Diaries. It's a zombie survival horror simulation. It's very text-based, and an interesting about this game thing about this game is that uh, a lot of it has to do with the, how people work together and managing your team which is pretty cool. So let's get started and see what it's all about. Uh, you can see there's three modes here. Um, there are difficulty modes, but as you can see, they're different. It's not just difficulty. They have different objectives, which is really cool. So I'm going to start off on easy mode. All right, here we go. I haven't played this game in a while, so whatever. I'm just chilling. Just going to have some fun tonight. And I hope that you guys have fun, too. We're at a house. It's at 2 Samantha Way. And it's January 6th, Monday. And what's crazy is right now in real life, it's actually January 6th, Monday, 2014. Just, I don't know if uh, it's trying to match my clock on my computer or if that's a coincidence, but that, that's kind of weird. Anyway, the end of the line. Everyone else is gone. The town is quiet, but it won't stay that way. If we find a flashlight or a beacon, we could signal other survivors without attracting zombies. There's an address scrawled on the wall. Might be a good place to start looking, but we'll need to move fast. Who do we got on our team? Oh, snap. We got Kojima Haruna. She's in AKB48. So right now we just start off with her. Um, she's an idol. She's 24, straight, uneducated, comes from a poor background. She is experienced and stable, socially oriented, and is most useful treating injuries, building fortifications, preparing a meal, creating medicine, and creating a distraction. She has a lingering prejudice toward the middle class. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, Kojima, we're surrounded by zombies. What do we do? Um, well, as you can see here, this map, we can move to other, this is, um, this is where, where she's at, right, right here. This is where we're at, this house, and we can go to any one of these places, and it takes up some time. Uh, but for now, let's stay here, because, uh, we're in this house, there's no zombies around, it's only 33% searched, so, let's, let's search this place, and, um, and you can see here, she's got three stars, which means that she's pretty good at it. Uh, it's three stars out of five. So five, they're amazing at it. One star, they suck at it. And they have ratings for doing everything. Um, yeah, that's a good way to spend the first turn. She's just going to search for anything useful. And we just click on this watch. Kojima found... Two cooking, or I'm sorry, seven cooking ingredients and five snacks in the kitchen. Kojima found three snacks in the kitchen. There's only one shower, and now a quarter of the rooms have been searched. Let's search again. Whoa, what is that? All right, cool. She found a motorcycle jacket. Um. She, she can use that for defense if zombies come in. Oh, I just noticed here we have a... Let's see, do we do we have a flashlight? We got, okay, we got a handgun. Um, eight rounds, we just found that motorcycle jacket. Uh, pieces of scrap, yeah, used in modifying and trap making. Um, a lot of these items actually do something. Uh, it's very, I haven't really seen too many items where 
they didn't do anything. There was always some kind of use for them, which was which is cool about this game. Um, and I've got it looks like I've got plenty of food here. I mean, I might want to cook something. Nah, right now I should just concentrate on searching. Let's see what supplies I can get. All right, I found. Now I have two handguns. Um. And a can of gasoline. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, a can of gasoline. I think you can use a can of gasoline to, um, for traps. Or no, not for traps, for distractions. You can light something on fire and create a distraction. But we haven't run into any zombies yet, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep searching this place until I find everything. Now, when I leave, I'm not going to be able to take all of this stuff with me. But I'm going to try my best. Oh, okay, she's done. Huh. I just wasted two turns. All right. Um, well, now I'm going to move. And I'm going to move over here because, as you can see before... In this previous page, um, there's an address scrawled on the wall. Might be a good place to start looking, but we'll need to move fast. And that address is this place right here. There might be a survivor there. Um, so, I'm just... What you should do is investigate places before you actually go over there. But... I'm just gonna take a long shot and just try to breach it right away and see what happens. Hopefully I won't die. I'm definitely gonna take a handgun and you can see I only have 4.5 pounds that I can take with me. So I gotta think about what's coming with me here. Um, take all the rounds, the motorcycle jacket. She can defend herself there. Might have, should I take the baseball bat? Yeah, I'll take the baseball bat. Um, I have to take the flashlight. You just you need the flashlight. And I only have point five. Maybe I shouldn't take the baseball bat. You know what? I'll leave the baseball bat. Feeling ballsy. I mean, she's got a handgun with eight bullets. That's pretty good. So I'd rather take some food or maybe a tool um, let's see oh the hacksaw is two pounds so I can't take that let's just take some cooking ingredients alright I think that's pretty good and let's um, save the current breach loadout so we won't have to do that again if, if need be all right, I could die right now. I could die right now, but um, let's just do it. You ready? Okay. I'm still on my way there. So it takes about an hour to go that far. Yes. Another survivor has approached Kojima. She has a broken arm. Despite that, she looks experienced and stable. It's Kashiwagi Yuki. Uh, Kojima doesn't want to... What? Well, you, we're, you're going to have to. Why would you not get along? Why would you guys not get along? Maybe it's because she's middle class? Come on, guys. You're both in AKB. That's crazy. Why would you not get along? What's happening here? Okay. The house at 2 Fieldstone Road is a small building with around six rooms. It has three doors and six windows leading in from the outside. Kojima approached the house with the intention of breaking in. She had to spend some time trying to find a way in, increasing the risk of a confrontation. She headed to a small second-story window leading to the third bedroom. Once she got closer, it proved tricky to access. 
There are no zombies inside the third bedroom. The whole location is silent. A small mob is gathering outside the house. Kojima discovered another survivor, Kashiwagi Yuki, at the house. Um, although she had a broken arm, she was carrying some medical supplies. And she joined the group. So now let's see. Ooh. <laughs> so uh, Yuki's got some blood on her face here. Um, yeah, she's... Uh, it's not good. She's got a broken arm. I wonder why Kojima doesn't like her, though. Oh, it's because she's from a middle-class background, that's why. And Kojima, she's, she comes from a poor background, and she has a lingering prejudice toward the middle class. Now, I could spread a rumor and try and uh, fix that, but your rumors are limited. See, I think you can only use one rumor, like once and that's it I could be wrong but I think that's how it is um, so I'm gonna save that I mean there's no major problems with them right now since uh, they're new so um, since uh, Yuki's new so let's uh, let's just split them up and have have them do different things now we definitely need someone to watch um, they're both pretty good at it and we definitely need someone to search Okay, they're both the same at it, so we'll have um, we'll have Kashiwagi search for anything useful, and we'll have Kojima uh, watch for zombies and signal survivors with a flashlight, so we can start building up our team now. I mean, it's good that we're not alone, but um, yeah, I definitely want to build up the team. Go and say, yeah, I don't even get along. She's cautious about her new partner. Okay, Kashiwagi took a pack of painkillers to deal with her injuries. She will be able to function better for a while. Um, okay, so just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, zombies have come. We were ready. Kojima was watching for zombies at the time and moved the table in front of the kitchen entrance, giving us more time to get into position. A zombie burst through a door leading to the living room. Kojima headed to the basement, saying it would be the easiest room to defend from. Kashiwagi was unimpressed with Kojima's plan and did not follow her, instead seeking refuge in the main bedroom. Kojima and Kashiwagi were barely protected. All they had between them was a, a motorcycle jacket but it was better than nothing. Most of the fighting took place in the kitchen. Kojima bashed a zombie's neck with a golf club after striking its torso and left arm. They got them all. Awesome. So we survived our first zombie attack. That's pretty cool. Um, now you can see uh, the dead zombie is in the house. So we're gonna need that to be uh, cleaned up and um, Kashiwagi's gonna have to do it because she's searching right now keep Kojima um, watching and signaling for survivors um, also I wanted to check maybe do we have let's see we've got three bandages and we have a splint okay so what I'm gonna do okay we'll have Ka we'll have Yuki um, clean up the corpse and then we'll have her try and splint up her arm and see if that helps. Uh, Kojima ate a snack, getting dark outside. Okay, so yeah, it's good to remove the corpses. If you don't remove the corpses right away, it makes your food rot and um, maybe some other bad stuff happens. But yeah, it's not good to have corpses. <clears throat> so let's see here. Let's... Uh, Oh yeah, let's uh, have her treat herself. I think she should use the splint now. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, she treated her broken left arm with a splint. She's all patched up. Great, and you can see the blood stain is lighter now, which is awesome. Um, and so it's back to searching. Man, I can't believe no survivors have, have come yet. To join our party. All 
right, this is good. We found another flashlight. Flashlights are always good. Um, yeah, weapons. Crowbar is great. I love the crowbar. Coach, uh, uh, reported there are no zombies. Yeah, so we're doing okay. There's no zombies really right now. I, I guess since it's the beginning, so it's, it's pretty easy. And we're pretty quiet. Um, Kash uh, Kashiwagi found two quarrels in the basement. Quarrels are for... Uh, I don't think we have the, the crossbow yet. Um, bottle of spirits. Deck of playing cards. Do we have a crossbow? Nope, we just have a handgun. And you can see now it's 9 p.m. We started this at 6 p.m. Um, and the screen is already dark. It, it's, it's as if we're using artificial light. It's very cool about this game. It tries to get you into the atmosphere of it. You can see the screen gets darker the later it gets. Right, man, they really like those painkillers. I hope we don't run out of painkillers. Oh, that must have been the last one. She she just ate the last painkiller. Damn, Yuki, what's going on? All right, great. So we finally searched all the rooms. Let's take a look at what we've got here now. Um. We don't have a lot in terms of food. It's not looking good. I think I think there was more food here, actually. Um, but... Yeah, there isn't... We, we don't really have that much. I'm considering whether we should stay here at this location or move back here, because I feel like... Oh, cool. We can see what's over here. Um, all right, what do you think? Because he, over here, we got 13 snacks and 15 cooking ingredients. You know, and we still have, like, some leftover weapons. We, we've got all this stuff. What do we got here? We got nothing. You know what? I think, yeah, let's move. Let's do it. Let's move to this location. Um, Want to change investigate to breach. So that they occupy the house. And then there's also assault. Let's go over what this is real quick here. Investigate means that they'll go there, check it out, come back. They'll kill any zombies if they're... Um, if they're outside the house and if they're inside the house they can kill zombies if if you bring a gun uh, breach is like they'll just go in there and stay there and assault is they're just going in there just to find out oh I'm sorry <laughs> I, I totally uh, explained investigate wrong I no, that was more like assault okay investigate is they just look for the zombies and if the zombies are there uh, they report it back assault is when they go there and kill the zombies so right now we're gonna breach we're gonna breach and what was the last breach loadout we brought this stuff um, what should we, we should definitely bring medicine um, we need that. So maybe we can't bring that much medicine. Let's put some of those back. And let's take, yeah, we definitely need a baseball bat. Um. It would be good to have more than... I think there's a flashlight at, at, the, at the other house already. So, I'm not sure if we have a crowbar there. Crowbar is always good. Damn! Oh, I wish we could take the crowbar. We'll have to take something that weighs one pound. I don't know. 
how about a screw if they get screwdriver oh and we need to get the bar of soap too it's always good to have a bar of soap what else can we take yeah, might as well take quarrels. Okay, we have exactly nine pounds. Let's uh, let's save that. All right, so we're going back to the first house. Hopefully, there's not too many zombies there, and if there are, we can take them out. Kojiba at Kashiwagi approached the house with the intention of breaking it. They had to spend some time trying to find a way in, increasing the risk of a confrontation. They headed to a small second-story window leading to the third bedroom. While the screwdriver didn't help much with breaking in, it made life easier. There were no zombies inside the third bedroom. It sounds like there are only a handful of zombies wandering around in here. Doesn't look like there are any zombies outside the house. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to fight some zombies. Here we go. Kojima and Kashiwagi were still trying to clear out the one room. Oh, there was only one? <coughs> um, smashed it with a baseball bat. Okay, there was only one zombie. I think we're cool, right? Right away, I'm gonna have, um, yeah, Kojima was doing a pretty good job um, doing that, so got to clean up these corpses, have Yuki do that. Cool. So now you might be thinking, um, well, why did I go back here when it's already been searched? And I chose to go back here because it would be good to build up a, a place that's safe. So now what I'll do, I'll keep Kojima on the lookout. But I'll have Yuki, what should Yuki do? She will barricade and, oh no, she's not that great at it. They're both not that great at it. So right now, I yeah, I could either, yeah, I should I should probably just work on the barricade. That's what I'll do. But instead of quickly and loudly, I'll do it slowly and quietly so as not to attract zombies. In the meantime, Kojima is still trying to get, um, she's still trying to signal survivors. Ugh, she's sucking right now. Yuki is not doing well. Come on, Yuki. She's struggling. Okay, she broke a refrigerator. Yeah, so when she does try to make the barricade, she actually breaks stuff in the house. And there's a set number of things in the house. I think you can see it here. Furniture. So she broke a refrigerator, so I guess that's minus one furniture, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure, but um, right here, there's only nine, I guess, unsecured openings in the house. The house also has a sniper nest and a watchtower. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, there's 33 pieces of furniture, which will help us to um, barricade these nine openings. There's also 11 spots for traps, two outdoor traps, eight barricades. I don't know the exact meaning of, of all this stuff. Um, and traps, I haven't really used traps that much. We'll, we'll check that out a little later if the time comes, but for now, hopefully, hopefully she'll get better at barricading. I think they put, they put in a mechanic in, <gasps> whoa, awesome, awesome, Eiko Mitsui, thank God. That's cool. Oh, she's cool with both of them. 
She's got two crossbows. Oh, that's awesome. It's a good thing we have those quarrels. Yeah, we'll definitely accept you. Oh, thank God. All right. A survivor, Mitsui Aiko, approached Kojima and Kashiwagi at the house. Although she had a bro Oh, she has a broken arm, too? What's with that? Come on, man. Come on, girl. What you got a broken arm for? She was carrying some weapons. She joined the group. The group is feeling optimistic. Excuse me one sec here. Okay. So we got, um... We got a member of Morning Musume <laughs> and two members of AKB here. But the weird thing is that Morning Musume gets along with both of AKB, but Kojima doesn't like Kashiwagi. That's horrible. That's horrible. I wasn't expecting that from Kojima. Not to, not to Yuki. Wow. All right. Well, I wish that we had another splint for you, Aika. But looks like we don't. Let's see, what can we make her do? She can she can help? Oh no, she can't. She sucks. She only has one star. Um What's she good at again? <laughs> so she's just good at making medicine and stuff? I mean she's gotta be good at Okay, here we go. She can prepare a meal. We need some meals. Let's do it. Oh my god, zombies. That's good. Uh, Kojima did her job. Um, let's see. Kojima was unimpressed. That happens like every time. Someone's always unimpressed in someone. It kind of pisses me off. Uh, most of the fighting took place in the kitchen. Cool. So the motorcycle jacket definitely came into play there. Uh, who wants to clean up this corpse? Um, we'll have Mitsui do it. We'll have the new girl do it. Aika Mitsui. All corpses have been... Let's see. Kashiwagi hasn't made any progress on barricading for a few hours. Man, Yuki's really bad at that. We need someone that's good at this. Oh my god. Zombies. Um, okay, no one got hurt. Yeah, no one got hurt. Okay, so that's good. You can see these X's here. It actually shows you the zombies. There's not too many zombies right now. It's just that um, it's just so badly secured because really we don't. No one's good at barricading. I mean, I could have Kashu, uh, Kashiwagi team up with Kojima, but they don't get along. And Mitsui, that's one star. I mean, that's really bad. Just gonna have to clean up some corpses, if I suppose. Okay. Well. Now what should we have I could do? Um, oh yeah, she was preparing a meal. She's really good. They're all good at that. It's because they're all idols. That's why. That's why. They're all really good at preparing food. Okay. We're starting to get surrounded by zombies here. Um, I think we have enough meals, actually, so... Let's have her... Uh, no one's good at modifying. Uh, we can't really patrol and get rid of the, the zombies right now. We need some more people. Hmm. Maybe I should start making some traps. 
Oh, shoot. They're horrible at making traps. They all have the same... Um, they all have... They're all idols. That's why. Damn. Fucking Japanese idols. What? Aika, why are you doing that? I wasn't expecting Aika to to do something like that. I thought I thought you guys were friends. Oh, it's okay though. It, it's not out of control yet. I just pre pretend that didn't happen. Okay, we just got attacked by zombies again. It's only one zombie. Again, no one was hurt. I'll have Mitsui um, clean up the corpse. And let's stop this let's play here. It's about half an hour. So I'll see you in episode two of Let's Play Zafe House Diaries with AKB48 and Morning Musume.